Hello, River Trace lords and ladies. Welcome back to the kingdom of River Trace. I am your queen, Queen Cravens. And today, you may be wondering, why are you wearing a crown? Why are you doing an accent? Well, <laughs> I have a crown and I'm doing an accent because we are gonna draw a castle today. Woo! And it actually looks really, really hard, but can you draw a square? Can you draw a rectangle? Can you draw a triangle? Can you draw a bump? Bump, 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 bump. If you can draw all those shapes, this is gonna be really, really, really easy. So don't worry about it. So stay tuned, the beautiful lords and ladies of River Chase, because you are going to have your very own castle. Oh, stay tuned. Oh. The materials you'll need for today are one piece of paper, a pencil, crayons, and if you have a black marker, you can use it. But if you don't have a type of black marker, don't worry about it. Let's get going. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw a cloud. There's two ways you can draw a cloud. You can draw a cloud that looks like this, where you get a lot of bumps and you make those bumps into an oval. And it is basically a bumpy oval or a cloud. Or if this is too hard, or you know you just don't want to it and you like this better, we'll just make bumps across the page like this. They are both awesome. You can pick which one you like the best. And I'll use this side, why not? So let's get started. We'll start with the middle. So let's we'll start with a square. So I'm gonna go up, over, down. Boom, square. How easy is that? Next we'll do the door. And now that we are experts at making bumps, this is just a big bump. So we're gonna go a giant bump for the door. Very good. And this door looks like it's made of wood. So we're just gonna draw some straight lines to make it look like wood. Very good. And we're just gonna pretend like we're building blocks, stacking them up. So we're going to make another a little bit smaller kind of square rectangle and a little baby window which is a bump and a line very good this part that we'll do a couple different times is the hardest part but it's really not hard it's kind of like drawing a lego almost it's very interesting we're gonna make a big straight line like this it goes over the edge baby line up baby line up and then over down over down and then you can just go down over it's like you're making little steps or like a lego like i said earlier and you just go over up over up over over up, over, 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 over on and on and on and we are almost done with our first tower we got two things left we're gonna do one more square or rectangle this is going to be as tall or as short as you want it to be and you can add another window or you don't have to. I might add another window. And the top of the tower. And if you can draw a triangle. Ooh, that's a very big roof. <laughs> that's okay. And uh, we will make a roof. And you can do some more bump lines to make it look like a roof. Or you can make lines or you can leave it alone. It's up to you. You really, all the decorations, that is your choice. And let's keep adding to our castle. On the side, we're going to make a taller rectangle. So I touched the corner of the square and I went up, over, down, and touch the cloud. Very good. I'm gonna do a big window here, a big bump. And I'm gonna make it fancy, so I'm gonna put us skinny rectangle down here very good and let's make this one a little easier you can be as fancy and add a lot of towers or you can do a little easier it's up to you i'm gonna go ahead and do the roof on this one it's gonna be a shorter triangle 
And I'm gonna put little curved lines on this one because I feel like that would look nice. Awesome, awesome. Let's do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna touch the square, go up, go over, and go down. And you might have seen that, like, I made a mistake. Even Miss Cravens makes mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. So if you mess up, erase it. Or if you don't have an eraser, just leave it alone. You can color over it later. No one will ever notice. Gonna add a little window here. A little baby skinny rectangle underneath that little bump window. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the roof on this one too. And I'll do some more curvy lines. So you can stop here. This is a great castle to stop on. If you would like to keep adding and adding and adding and adding up and out, you can. So you can watch me do that or you can stop here. And as a last step, this is also optional. If you would like to add these little flags on top, all you do is if you have room on your rooftops, you'd make a line with a little circle on top. And we'll just do a sideways triangle. Out, back, out, back, out, back. And there, my friends, we have a castle. As I said before, you can really do as much or as little we're really just connecting shapes together, connecting squares and rectangles and triangles together. It's like building blocks. So from here, if you have a marker, you can outline it. If you don't have a marker, or if you're just exhausted, you do not have to. This part is optional. You do not have to do the marker part. All right, and from here, this is the fun part. This is where we get to start coloring. And there it is. And so your castle can be all different colors. It can have different kinds of cloud. It can be as tall or as short as you want it to be. It is up to you. I can't wait to see your work. Thank you so much for joining in on our beautiful castle lesson today. I, as the queen, cannot wait to see what colors and shapes you have chosen for your castle. Well, until next time, ta-ta! <laughs>